It is the biggest giveaway we've ever run over at foottrading.co.uk. This year has been the most insane year for the website. It has come on leaps and bounds. We've improved it left, right and centre. And you guys have supported us through all of that. I want to say thank you for all the incredible support that has been there this year. Really, we couldn't do it without you guys, without you guys buying into what we do. And so to say thank you, we are giving away two next generation consoles and two copies of FIFA 22. So four giveaways in total. One of you will win each of those like rewards. It's going to be absolutely insane. So four people subscribed are going to win themselves an awesome prize. All you've got to do is subscribe between now and July, so the end of July, to be entered in with a chance to win. Perfect time right now to test the market on FIFA. Uh, when your coins are, sort of, I guess, less needed, you can learn how the market works, work with that, and it will give you a running start for FIFA 22. So make sure you check it out. Go to foottrain.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to check out Foot Trading. We are giving away two next generation consoles as well as two copies of FIFA 22. Four of you will win. Um, all you've got to do is be subscribed over there. And I've said it before, but right now is the best time to learn how to trade on this game. Um, all trading across FIFA is relatively the same, no matter when you're doing it, how you do it. But right now on the game, there's very little risk involved in trading, very little risk in making coins. And if you can learn how the transfer market works now at the end of a game where it's less important, uh, it will set you up really well for the start of FIFA 22. Um, loads of big changes coming from FIFA 22. Massive, massive changes to Weekend League, um, to Division Rivals. It's going to be a, a mad change, I think, and it's going to be awesome. Um, but I think you're going to need a better team next year to be able to compete with people. I think the teams are going to need to be a lot more stepped up than they were this year. But this video is just some basic things to look at right now in terms of making coins on the game. Save yourself some time. Um, similar sort of trends as to what happened last week and what's been happening continually. Um, trading on this game this year, it's been a lot more different than... Than before, fluctuations are really where the coins have been this year. Um, and that's not just fluctuations at high end, even at the lowest ends. Um, supply has really, really brought the market down very quickly. And it tends to bounce back quite strongly. Um, it used to be a situation whereby you uh, stuff was sort of long hold, long hold, long hold. It isn't that anymore. You can make instant profit all the time. With that in mind, we'll start talking about the first most basic way to make coins at the moment. And that is simplistically by buying gold rares. Um, right now on the game... You have the 81 plus upgrade um, and gold rares are basically holding a minimum of 1,200. They always sell for that. They sell for more sometimes depending on the league. Um, if you look at the Premier League, for example, basic uh, gold rares in the Premier League are one, two there. And these will all sell. You can get one, three, one, four for them. Um, it's not hard at all. And really, the ways you work with the gold rares are simplistic. You can flip your filter around and I've, I've been doing this the last couple of days just to see if it works. It does. Just bid. Bid on all these cards as they come up. Um, you're not going to get all of them, but some of them will get through quite cheap. And if you've got a low budget and you're looking to make some coins, maybe to do some upgrades yourself, um, this is a half decent way to do it. You can see the ones here at 11 minutes haven't all got bids on them. Um, so some will sneak through without a doubt. It's, it's relatively simplistic to do that. Um, but really the big money in terms of making money from gold rares, if you've got a half decent budget, is going to be in supply tonight or with any promo packs we get. And tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to get Division Rival Awards, Weekend League Awards. People are still playing this game. I hear people say all the time, the game's dead. It's not. But more people than ever are playing this game. Um, it became available on EA Play, I think it's called. Um, and a lot more people jumped on, started playing the game. Um, and there's a lot of people still doing those 81 plus upgrades, myself included. Um, to me, this is the most fun part of the year, in all honesty. This is the, the funnest part of the year. You get to be able to build awesome teams um, and do bits and bobs with your coins. But tomorrow we're going to get mass supply of gold rares. They're going to plummet in price. You'll be able to pick them up relatively easily for discard price. Maybe slightly more than that. Um, if you want to sort of guarantee yourself more coins, look to the major leagues. Um, they tend to bounce quite be a lot better than maybe like the Mexican league and stuff like that. I'd be thinking about those as the places that I want to put my coins with gold rares um, for sure. But next thing we'll talk, we'll talk to you about is quite important. Um, and that is the cards that are currently in um, packs as part of the uh, Summer Stars, basically. So... I've got Richarlison um, sat here at the moment. Um, awesome card. Love his card. He's staying there. Laporte was last week. I picked him up for 165 uh, um, about two days ago. He's at 185 now on Xbox. Um, he's only going to go up as time progresses in the next sort of two, three days because he's going to be needed for Weekend League. Um, and people are going to want him for Weekend League. The thing about um, the Summer Stars cards is they're going to get packed like crazy yesterday, uh, tomorrow. And it's something to be mindful of because you're going to get supply of them tonight at 6pm because people still open up those promo packs. You're then going to get supply again tomorrow. And last week, although we can't see it completely, I just want to show you this is uh, last week's team. Although you can't see it in the cards themselves, they all took a massive hit at about 8 
eight thirty, nine o'clock on um, Thursday, all dropped by about 20, 30k and then bounced back quite significantly. You can't really see that when you look at Laporte now, for example. By the way, he is at 185. This is a refresh one, but we might have some other cuts or something that looks weird. Where is now? 175. So I've done some other cuts now. Um, but if you look at here, last week on the Thursday, it says, oh, he's just kept going down, kept going down, kept going down. And he did. But on that Thursday there, he saw a hit and then bounced back. And then he gradually came down in price, came down in price. So you get to a low of 150 on Monday before bouncing back up now to 175, as you see there. But he, he fluctuates between 175 and 185. Um, and again, Jordan Henderson here, which we'll talk about these in a second. These cards, these are relevant. Uh, these are relevant to talk about. Um, Locatelli was another one who did very, very well last week. Again, you can't see it here because it only shows the daily averages. But on the Thursday, he got low. It says here he got to 104, 100. He didn't. He got lower than that. I think I saw him at 90k. Uh, before bouncing back this week to 114k. If you picked him up in and around the 90k, 95k mark, you're looking at 15 to 20,000 coins profit. Um, and these are the ones that get packed quite consistently and quite often. And people that are new to the game people that haven't quite got the amount of coins that some other people might have for someone like that Locatelli is a game-changing card it's a great card those are sort of ones this week when you look at those players they're the ones I think you need to be looking at the lower end stuff that gets packed more often uh, based upon the weights so people like Chiellini for example um, infinitely usable card people will use him Chiesa Merla for, for definite Merla 94 rated for 60k um, is cheap anyway a 94 rated 60k if you look at 94 rated the cheapest on the market right now is summer you can't really go wrong with Merla. Tomorrow, he'll probably get packed quite a bit. Um, and he's going to be an easy one to pick up because he's for the price. And if he gets down to 50k, I did this with Murata when his um, Path to Glory card came out. I picked up loads of them at like 60k. He bounced back to 80, 85k. Merla's someone I would definitely look at tomorrow along with Summer. Both of these two cards are already for the price. They're going to get low and they will bounce back again because they will be needed. But they're the sort of cards I'd be looking for in terms of the, them being packed tomorrow. They're important because... I wouldn't be bothered to look at like a Neymar. I wouldn't bother to look at like anything that's overly expensively rated. I'd be looking at lower end. Yarmolenko's not a bad one either. He's Premier League. Again, 94 rated, 62k. Um, if you're good 93 rated, it's 49k. The cheapest one next to Lapadula is Christensen at 73k. Um, and Oblak 75k. Boo 75k. The 94 rated being 60k. Once they're out of packs, they will go up in price almost certainly. Obviously, footies is coming. So you have to be a little bit aware of footies. Because there's probably going to be quite a few cards that are like that, like that card in terms of usable but not very linkable, high rated, low value. So be, be mindful of that, but you'll be able to flip them on quite quickly. There's very, very little risk involved. But I did have this up for a reason. Um, we are, at the moment, there's not really that much amazing content this week. There's some decent bits and bobs, but not that much amazing content. In terms of player SPCs in the game right now, it's pretty dry. Um, and so because of that, FOD has sort of held relatively low this week. Um, but I did just want to show you this. 87 rated players right now are at 22, 23k, 23k. 86 rated players are at 20k, 21k, 21k. There is such a little gap between the 87s and the 86s. These are a very good investment, these 87s. Because at some point soon, you're going to need to use 87s in some way, shape or form. Uh, lazy people are buying 86s when they could just be buying 87s and bringing the rating of an SBC up. Um, but follow in general right now is not a bad place to look. Um, if we have a little look at American Ports gold card... I'm mean, looking at the last sort of month on him. If you look at his high of like 36k, he's at a low low right now. He's pretty much at the lowest he's been on both consoles um, since basically five days ago when he got as high as 36k. This card is dirt cheap right now. Even with no content, no point, he's never really been much cheaper than this. You can't really go wrong if you can get him below this with supply tonight and rewards tomorrow. You can't really go wrong on an 87 Laporte. It's, it's relatively easy to make coins on that card um, without a doubt. Jordan Henderson, if you have a little look, and this is why I prefer the 887s rather than 86s. Henderson is down about 6k at the moment, but again, his bounce is what? His high recently has been about 26, highest high has been 31, that was maybe nearly a month ago now. Um, these aren't bad buys, these 86s, but these 87s in my opinion are just a bit too low. Um, and it's because we haven't got an SBC that really requires an 87 rated team, or 87 rated player, I really, really like the look of these cards, and if you, as you can see, Consistently last week, Laporte was holding that like 34, 38, 38, 36k. He's low at the moment and there's no reason why you can't make a very good amount of profit, a healthy amount of profit from buying into someone like a Laporte. You're going to have to hold it maybe for two or three days depending on what EA bring out. Um, but that's a really, 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 really easy way to make coins at the moment. Really, really, relatively simplistic. To be fair, they're all easy ways. If you're at a low budget, 100k and below, I'd be looking at sort of rare golds. You can sort of 
get 50 to 60% back of your profit you put into it. So you put 100k in, 50, 60k back in relatively quickly. If you're at a mid-budget, I'd be looking at Fodder like 87 rated. If you can get the port for 22, same for 30, very, very good profit from that. And at a higher end, I'd be looking at those Summer Stars cards when they've been packed tomorrow. Buy them, hold them until they're stopping being packed, and then sell them on for the profit once they've risen. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.